Hello everyone, we will continue the topic IDOX and in this video we will talk about what are the various data exchange methods or technologies in IDOC. In the previous video, we covered that IDOC is a data container which is exchanged between the system. So what are the various methods or technologies to exchange that data? But do not confuse this topic with the IDOC process topic. If someone asks you what are the various IDOC process, answer is inbound and outbound. If data is coming into SAP system, that is inbound. If data is going out from the SAP system, that is outbound. But what are the various data exchange methods? Answer is ALE and EDI. When we started with the topic cross application, at that time also I tell you that whenever we will come on to IDOC, we will talk about ALE and EDI. So they are data exchange methods in IDOC. Now, firstly, what is ALE? An important understanding. The full form of ALE is application link enabling. The full form of ALE is application link enabling. If the format of data is not changing between the systems, it is called as ALE. We'll go for understanding. Suppose I'm saying we have 100 records in system one. Same to same 100 records, we are transferring to the another system using IDOCs. So what is what we are doing? The format of data is not changing. 100, same to same 100, we are transferring here. Same to same, no difference. So that is called as ALE. ALE always, always exists between SAP to SAP system. Suppose simple example. We have a SAP system 1, we have a SAP system 2. We have a purchase order in SAP system 1. Same to same purchase order we are transferring to SAP system 2 using IDOC. So what we are doing? We are not changing the format of the data at all. So it is called as ALE. So that's why for the ALE the best word we are using is within the business. ALE is within the business because we are simply, simply transferring from one SAP system to other SAP system without changing the format of the data. In real world, you will see so many real importance of ALE. Suppose we have master data, we have master data in SAP system 1. We can transfer the master data to SAP system 2 using ALE. We have transaction data in SAP system 1. We can transfer that transaction data to SAP system 2 using ALE. Because in case of ALE, format of data is not changing at all. Now, we will talk about ALE before we will talk about EDI. Before we come on to EDI, we will park this line and we will discuss at the last. Now, what is EDI? EDI, is this a latest term? No. EDI stands for Electronic Data Interchange. It's a very, very old term. Suppose if I will simply say SAP evolved in 1972, but before that itself, we have a term exist electronic data interchange. So word full form itself is suggesting if the format of data is changing, it is called as EDI, EDI. 
So EDI exists between SAP to non-SAP, non-SAP to SAP, and SAP to SAP also. Suppose simple example, we have a purchase order in a system. It can be SAP, it can be non-SAP. But whenever we are transferring this purchase order to other system, uh, purchasing whenever we are transferring this purchase order to other system using IDOCS, that purchase order converted to sales order. So format of data is changing. So it is called as EDI. So for the best line for the EDI is EDI is across the business, across the business. Now, I will come on to the first point. For ALE, this is the first line is very important. ALE is a proprietary SAP technology. So before that, this term does not exist at all. SAP, SAP evolved this word, SAP evolved this technology. But EDI, always, always this term is there. Why I am putting the stress on this term? Because whenever people will work in SAP, they will not at all use the word EDI. They will always use the word ALE. Format of data is changing or not changing. They will always tell ALE, ALE, ALE. Do not confuse at that point of time. Because ALE is a proprietary word of SAP. So they are always using the word ALE. But you should understand at that point of time that it is actually a ALE or EDI. So what we studied in this particular video, we studied that IDOC, with the help of IDOC, data is exchanging. But what are the various ways or methods for the same? First one is ALE and the second one is EDI. ALE is evolved by SAP. It's a proprietary right of SAP itself. But EDI is a very old word. ALE, application link enabling. EDI, electronic data interchange. In case of ALE, format of data is not changing. In case of EDI, format of data is changing. Suppose simple example we took. If we have a purchase order in SAP system 1 and we have a purchase order is going to SAP system 2, same to same. Format of data is not changing. That's why ALE is between SAP to SAP. Suppose in case of EDI, we have a purchase order in system 1. Whenever we are transferring to other system, that purchase order converted to sales order. So format of data is changing. It is EDI. It is from non-SAP to SAP, SAP to non-SAP and SAP to SAP. ALE is always, always within the business and EDI is across the business. And if in the projects or everywhere people will use the term ALE always, do not confuse at that point of time because ALE is a proprietary word of SAP. So they will never use the word ALE, EDI. It's your understanding deeper that it is actually a EDI or it is actually a ALE. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will continue the few more topics of IDOCS. That's it in this video. Thank you.